Hey everybody, welcome back to Mrs. Rattlecan's house. I am James and this is, well, it's the week or weeks in review. Um, I'm just going to take you quickly through the house. We have got, I, it's kind of hard to figure out how to do this so that you don't get everything washed out. We have outlets. The vast majority of the outlets are done, which means that all of the wires that run underneath the crawl space have all been worked on. So lots and lots of outlets are all wired in. Uh, all of the, with the exception of just a couple of rooms, all of the um, cutouts for the new boxes, electrical boxes, switch boxes, those are all cut out. Uh, and sized to fit. So we just have to throw the wire down there, throw the box in there, repair the plaster, and uh, continue on. The uh, outlets are wired in the, uh, in the bathroom. We've pulled the lights down. We are going to have to, um, I'm going to have to do some rewiring on those because they're just a giant bundle of wire and I'm not real comfortable with the way those are done. Um, let's see, where do we go? Um, yeah, so you can see we've got holes, again, holes cut out. Um, let's see, I guess we could go up, I guess I could show you this. Although it is freezing cold up here with no insulation and I think it was like 17 this morning. So as you can see there's been quite a bit of progress doing the HVAC work uh, and getting it done. It's just slow going um, like everything else. Um, you can see we are now starting to do the uh, the wiring on the lights in uh, up here on the main floor we're just starting to get that done uh, we are now uh, I guess I can tell you this we are now we're now fighting the clock um, because I have a company scheduled to come in here on January the 10th to insulate the house they're going to finish my air sealing, although the guy said I've done probably 80% of the air sealing. Um, they are going to um, well, they're just going to insulate. We have no insulation in the walls of our house. Zero. It's There's none anywhere. So I don't even want to think of what these poor people's heating and cooling bills were. Um, so uh, you can see I've got a couple. I still have to cut the vertical out on that. Um, this is the last room that I have to cut the outlets in with the exception of the kitchen because up until this evening we were pulling power from this room. Um, and we were pulling power from these outlets and these are gonna get cut uh, maybe tomorrow afternoon, I don't know. Because the exciting news is that um, tomorrow it's panel swap day. We are pulling the old electrical panel tomorrow and reinstalling, or not reinstalling, installing the new one. Um, take you back here. This is all now um, nice and neat running up through here. Um, so those that are hanging right there, we just, we haven't got the final placement yet. One of those yellow lines is for the um, radon, um, uh, the radon pump. Uh, another of those yellow lines is for the electrical box that's gonna go next to the compressor or slash heat pump outside. And then the black line is the, uh, uh, is the line for the, the actual compressor itself. Um, so you can see the majority of this has been tacked up uh, the way it's supposed to be. We have pulled all of the, um, we've pulled all the slack out of the lines. Um, don't freak out 
um, because almost none of this has been tacked up. Uh, I'm going to do the final tacking and the final securing of all these lines um, once we make sure everything is good. Um, that's just the way I am. Um, so, anyways, continuing on through. Um, if you watch us on Facebook, then you will already know about this and that, that this is gone because I talked to the previous owners of the house who told me that at one point in the 1960s, there was a book house working out of here, like a bedding place working out of here. And those big green boxes, there's one down here in the basement, there was another one up in the attic. Um, at one point, there were 18 phone lines that would come into this house. Um, I don't need 18 phone lines, so we've disposed of all of that. Uh, you can see our wiring runs up there. That stuff is all, it's all going up through this chase. And then I will give you a limited view of what's kind of going on here. We call this the Romex waterfall. And so that is the majority of the lines coming down. I still have, let's see, one, two, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five that are gonna come down out of the kitchen. I have four that are gonna come out of lighting. So there's gonna be another nine or 10 more uh, coming out of here, or at least coming down here. And we are slowly getting rid of this old stuff. And we're putting in the new stuff. So anyways, and uh, before too long, the, uh, the old ugly panel box, she will be gone. So, that, uh, in a nutshell, is what's going on. Uh, so, yeah, it'll be an exciting day tomorrow. It'll be a long day tomorrow. Of course, they're all long days. Um, you know, I gotta thank, I gotta thank my oldest son, David, for coming over and helping out. You know, he works long days. And he comes over and he pitches in a whole lot. Uh, working with the HVAC stuff and then you know my good buddy Steve who uh, you know he'll work a eight or a ten hour day and then uh, drive you know an hour and 20 minutes or an hour and 30 minutes over here to help out for a couple of hours um, and then Mrs. Rattlecam brought us all pizza tonight so that was pretty cool so anyways that's uh, briefly what's going on and the next time I see you, if everything goes right, we'll have power throughout the house. Anyways, uh, this is Mrs. Rattlecan's house. I'm James. Hey, if uh, this was somewhat entertaining, give us a like. More importantly, um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, share the channel. If you have someone that is uh, easily entertained by people doing things that they don't know how to do, then I'm the channel for you guys. Hey, have a great weekend. Cheers. If you enjoyed watching this episode of Mrs. Rattlecan's House, consider checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and to get the latest updates on our progress, like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Absolutely should have some wine. <laughs>